This video will show you how to carry out a Brompton rear hinge replacement. Over time the hinge can wear. You can check for wear by firmly rocking the rear of the triangle side to side. If there is play in the rear hinge as shown, then the rear hinge bush kit needs to be replaced. The tools needed to replace the hinge are a drill and a 6.35mm or quarter inch drill bit supplied in the rear hinge bush kit, the rear hinge tool kit available from the trade platform including the reamer and the tap, crank extractor, sharp screwdriver, a low strength thread locking compound such as purple Loctite, two 5.32nd Allen keys, a torque wrench with an 5.32nd and 8mm bit, a hammer and a hacksaw. The rear hinge kit is available to order via the trade platform as a spare part. It is best to do this with a bike upside down in the work stand as shown. To replace the rear hinge, firstly remove the chain from the chain tensioner. Remove the cranks using the crank extractor. You now have access to the Allen key bolts for the rear hinge. If you are lucky, you may be able to loosen one, if not both sides, using a 5.32nd Allen key. However, this is not always the case and you may have to drill or cut them out. To drill them out, use a 6.35mm or quarter inch drill bit and carefully drill the bolt heads out as demonstrated. Alternatively, you can remove the white spacer using a sharp tool and cut the axle hinge as demonstrated. Be careful not to damage the frame. The axle can now be gently tapped out. To remove the bushings, use a 7 16th UNF tap. Turn the tap clockwise into the bush until you achieve a positive grip on the bush. The tap can then be used to drive out the bush from the opposite side of the frame. The next part of the video will explain how to fit the rear hinge. Firstly, gently install the bushings using a drift or a press or carefully with a hammer. You then need to ream the bushings using the specific Brompton reamer. The tool allows the axle to be fitted straight. You should do this from both sides to make sure that you have correctly reamed the bushings. Always turn the reaming tool clockwise, never turn it anti-clockwise. The axle should be a snug push fit. If it is not, use the reaming tool again. Make sure the axle bore is clean of swarf before fitting. Push the washers on the axle. Use thread locking compounds such as purple Loctite in a line on the threads and the countersunk head of the rear hinge bolt. Install the bolts and tighten to 10 newton meters. Reinstall the cranks, tightening the bolts to 30 newton meters and put the chain back on. Check for any play in the bushings and that the hinge moves freely. There should be some light resistance. 